This is a demonstration of a new iPhone iPod Touch app called Frog Frenzy. Click on the app icon and you go right into the game. I will start out with telling you about the buttons and then we'll get into gameplay. New button. If you hit the new button it will generate three random numbers which will give you three starting spaces. Reset game. Resets the game back to the previous game that, that you had played. Custom game allows you to create your own starting spaces. When you come into the game, the first time uh, all of the, the buttons uh, are set up to confirm that you really want to do a new game or reset game. Uh, the sound is on and the timer is on. If you go into the info button, you have the ability to change the, the different uh, settings from on to off. You also see a button for time scores. We keep the top 10 best time scores and the top 10 best untimed scores. If we go back to the, the main part of the game, you'll see that the board is comprised of a grid of 36 squares with one being at the top left and 36 being at the bottom right. The object of this game is to take these 33 frogs and put them onto a lily pad. You will see down here the score is 33. As you progress in the game, the score will decrement. And you're looking for a score of zero. Now one of the most important things of the game are the numbers on the left hand side. The numbers correspond to the row. What the number one means in this instance is a frog in this row is only able to move or jump one square and it can be horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. Once you click a frog to jump you'll notice that the frog highlights and, and goes into a jumping position and then you take it over and put it into a lily pad, an empty lily pad and you'll see after you've done that that the the representation of the picture is a frog on a lily pad. You also notice that the, the timer started. Whenever you come into a time game, a new time game, the timer will be zero and it will not start until you click your first frog and place them on a lily pad. If we go back to the info button, uh, the one thing that, that I want to tell you off the top is if you change from timer on to timer off and you go back to your game you're going to get an information message that says timer setting will change once current game ends. The reasoning behind that is a person could theoretically start an untimed game, get down to the last frog, go into the info, change it to a time game, come back, move the frog to the empty lily pad and after three or four seconds have elapsed they've won the game which in reality is not true because they started as an untimed game. So this will mitigate that instance. So what this means is timer setting will change once the current game ends. If I click OK, the way to end the current game is either through hitting the new button, the reset button, or the custom button. If you go out of your game for some reason, a phone call or you did it on yourself, yourself and you come back in you will notice you will get the, the information button again but you will see that the timer comes back or reverts back to where it was whenever you left the game and all of your uh, moves up to that point are retained as well. Uh, the undo button will undo the last move that you made on a live game so if I hit the undo button you will see that we'll do it again the frog went from the lily pad back to her blank square and the lily pad that he was on turned into a blank lily pad. So now we'll do a new game, press yes and you'll see that the random number generator gave us three starting positions. I'm going to go back in and change this to a time game and I'm going to do a reset and you'll see the timer came back on and uh, we reverted back to 
uh, the previous new game. So I'm going to th play this game, start out, and uh, again, the numbers here correspond to the rows and the amount of jumping squares that the frog can do on that particular row. So I'm just going to keep going here. And you'll notice that if you would touch this square here with the frog on a lily pad, you hear a splash. And it'll say invalid selection, try again. Once you make a good move, you can hear the frog croak. So we'll keep going here and the program keeps track of your moves and it will tell you when you have exhausted all of your moves. The one important thing is to get all of the the four row taken care of because naturally they're, it's the, the hardest because there is not much room to move. So we'll keep going here until we... Okay, so we got a new best time score since this is a, a brand new running of the game. And again, we're prompted, do we want to save it? We'll say yes. It'll come back and it says no more valid moves. So I want to, let's say we'll reset the game. Go into info, go into the time scores, and you'll see that I have 15 frogs remaining. 48 seconds on 4 20 20 10 and my starting squares were 3 22 and 23 if you would like to reset these scores for some reason you hit the reset button and you'll be prompted there's no way to change this prompt because you wouldn't want to inadvertently delete your scores so it's asking you are you sure you want to and we will not do that so I'll come back to the game and I will do a new game just to demonstrate the custom button. We'll say yes, and it generated three new random numbers, three new starting places for us. But I want to see if I can beat the score in the time of my last go around in the game. So I see that it was the starting spots were 3, 22, and 23. So I'll come back, I'll do custom. I want to do a custom game, so that's three. 22, 23, and again the timer will not start until I click my first frog. So we'll try this again and see if we get a little further this time. Again, it's just a simple click a frog, he'll highlight, and then you move him the allotted amount of jumping spaces. And you'll hear the croak if the frog is permitted to go to that particular space. Now I know I have a valid move. And I'm trying to figure out where it is. Like I can't move. There we go. that one. Let's go over here. Okay, I gotta go three. Let's go. So the, the game is done. I'll save this score. I got a better score, but uh, my time was longer, but that's okay. So basically, if I go back in, I'll check my time score, and you'll see that I have a score of 5, took me 119, 420, and the same starting spot. So that's the game in a nutshell. If you have any issues or problems, please feel free to email us at frogfrenzy at midrix.com, and we hope you enjoy the game. Thank you.